here, but it's time to wrap it all up with my favorite segment that we do on this program. Every week, we like to find a cause that's uh, you know either headed or thought up by a player or a fan or a coach or a fan base or whatever um, that are doing good in the community. And we like to say, hey, we're going to donate $1,000 to that cause. And today, we um, are going to talk about Wounded Warrior Project because uh, I personally know from working for the league for so many years that they do so much in connecting veterans through sporting events, in uh, uh, bringing resources to veterans to help improve their mental health. And last year, Wounded Warrior Project asked me, and it was so fun, to help give away tickets to current and former service members and their families. It was Military Appreciation Day um, at the Super Bowl experience, and it was amazing, me and Zach Ertz. Got to FaceTime some fans and get, and it was just, everyone's just joyous. It's pure joy and such a wonderful way to say thank you uh, for their service. And this year they're doing it again. So fe Wednesday, February 7th at Mandalay Bay South Convention Center, I will be there. And so will Cardinals tight end Trey McBride, who's here for our latest rendition of We Caught You, Trey, as you sit in your car because you're out there helping. Uh, during a breakout season, we'll get to in a second, but what does it mean to you to be able to treat military families to this experience? And lovely to meet you. Yeah, it's uh, it's just such a great thing. It's just such a great uh, opportunity. It's such a great thing to give back, to have the opportunity to give back, to help these veterans that have done so much for us, um, just to, to give back to them. It's such a great experience, and I'm so excited to have this opportunity to, to you know, help a, help a veteran. Trey, it's a, it's a little closer to you, too, a little personal, right? Because your brother, your grandfather served in the Navy. How have they inspired you to be involved with Wounded Warrior? Yeah, just, uh, you know, having a, a immediate family that, that has been involved, that is, uh, you know, in the in the military, it's so uh, close to my heart, and, and that's something that I want to be a part of, something I want to give back, and uh, it's something I'm excited to, to be a part of. So uh, to have a brother that's been in the military, to have – you know, a grandfather that's been in the military, this is just so close to me and uh, something I'm um, very, uh, a huge advocate for. It's amazing. And like I said, I think it's a beautiful way to say thank you. And it's all part of the NFL Salute to Service Initiative. And it's it's in place. And it's a huge initiative by the NFL to sort of honor and empower, equip, connect our nation's service members. Uh, and it uh, is something that goes on with all of the teams and all of the city. And there are over 200,000 veterans in Nevada where the Super Bowl is, many of whom don't know that they're eligible for wounded Warrior Project's free programs and services. So we're so thankful to you for yeah. joining us, spreading the word a little bit. And you got, by the way, everybody can pick up tickets with a valid military ID at the entrance in the Mandalay Bay South Convention Center for the event on Wednesday. Up and Adams is happy to support and be a part of it. We are do donating $1,000 to Wounded Warrior today. So thanks, Trey, for joining us. Can we talk a little bit about your season? We have a couple minutes. Trey, yeah, of course. Trey, don't you be modest or humble on me. You broke out this year, especially, which is my favorite thing to see, like, as the season went on. From week eight, do you even know this? From week eight, you finished third among tight ends and yards, second in the entire league in catches behind only C.D. Lamb. What clicked? You know, I think it was just having the opportunity to get on the field to, to play and to show the coaches what I can do. Um, I had a great connection with Kyler. He was trusting me, throwing me the ball, and uh, it was just a lot of fun. I was just out there making plays, and uh, it was just a, it was a blast uh, doing it. What was your reaction when you heard Coach Gannon say Kyler Murray is going to be the quarterback next year? Uh, it was just super exciting, uh, you know, just to to have a guy, to have a whole offseason with him. You know, this year we only got to play half a season. He was coming back with the ACL. So to now have a full offseason, to be able to work out, to train, and do everything this offseason, to, to have a full year with him, I'm excited to see, you know, the connection we can have next year. I think next year you are one of the you are one of my breakout players for next season. <laughs> From the jump, I'll talk about it all off season. You scored this. LaShawn McCoy, two time Super Bowl champion, goes, Yeah, I remember that touchdown against the number one Ravens defense this year. Talk me through this. Yeah, that was a, a crazy play. Um, <laughs> I just remember in the huddle, Josh uh, Josh goes, Hey man, I'm gonna throw you the ball if there's two safeties. And sure enough, it was two safeties. I ran the route, he threw the ball, I caught it, and then 
I was getting held up. You know, I thought the whistle was going to blow. Um, once I was held up, I was like on the five yard line. I'm like, oh, they're going to blow the whistle. They didn't blow the whistle. And I just kind of felt the surge from one of my teammates, felt another surge from another <laughs> teammate. And sure enough, I, I landed in the end zone. And uh, it was just a crazy deal. I'm glad they didn't blow the whistle because uh, I ended up in the end zone. It was fun. Trey, you carried the entire Ravens defense into the end zone with you <laughs> to celebrate. It was amazing. Congrats on the success and everything that's coming your way. Thank you for your work with Wounded Warrior Warrior Project. And we will see you in Vegas making, uh, making the lives of some of these service members a little better. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait. It's going to be super excited. We got something good in store for him, so it'll be great. All right. Come find me at Radio Row at Mandalay Bay. Uh, and we'll get to meet in person. We appreciate you, and we'll see you next week. And we'll see everybody 